Hey folks, all right, we're back with another box of 99 Upper Deck Series 2. This is the one that had the randomly inserted autograph game jersey cards and 500 gimme's back cards. Uh, those would be great to pull. They're they're very difficult to get. There's only, you know, I think 50 of the Babe Ruth that were inserted and 350 of the regular um, other ones. So uh, unlikely to get them, but kind of fun to, to do a chase. There's also the uh, the parallel cards. The, uh, the Fortes, the view of the, of the thrill. Um, last box we opened, we also got, you know, a couple numbered cards, number to 100, bronze, and uh, the uh, view to a thrill to 1,000, to 2,000. So uh, we'll see what we can get here. We're also trying to complete a set. Um, if you watched the other video, um, you might remember that, we, remember that we got about 90, you know, 85, 90% of the way there of, of the Series 2 set just on the base. Um, some decent rookies in there. So we're gonna see what we can do to get towards uh, knocking off some of the um, the full the full set. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, I'll show you guys the box here. I bought these off eBay, by the way. A um, little under. A hundred dollars with the shipping. You can see what the odds are here. Uh, you know the Forte to two thousands, one in thirty. Um, yeah, yep. Jersey cards one in twenty five hundred. So unlikely we're gonna get any of those, but we'll see what we can find. Aside here. Yeah, there's a little bit of sticking just with these cards in general. They're kind of high gloss, but nothing to really worry about here. The cards have all been in good shape so far, which is great. a little bit more sticking on this one here. Another Beltran rookie. That one I have in the last box. And then a Griffey textbook. That's good. I like that. Kind of like these uh, these highlight cards too. Let's see if we can get towards getting a full set of those. All these rookies I'd never heard of. Shea Hillebrand. Okay. Dipper Jones, base. Don't think we got that in the last one. Is that one of our ones we can call, knock off? Pretty nice. Yeah, we end up with a lot of doubles. I guess we're going for parallels here. Yes, yeah, so usually the last last card or two are the the parallels are in here, so get through the base. Palmero, 
nice to pull his back card, although I don't think that's in this one. Bruce Chen rookie. Okay. Going here. some guys go through the cards and they know they know something about every player um, I haven't followed the game in a while um, collected a bunch in the 90s 80s and 90s Canerco um, Greg Vaughn but I can't tell you much and you guys know more than I do um, I just find it fun to Collect a little bit. A little bit of a blast in the past for me. Portugal, Dean Palmer. Oh, there you go. There's a Barry Bonds view to the thrill. Oh, we got some sort of a green parallel here. It's a 2000, another Forte die cut. Barry Bonds. That's cool. You know, definitely, definitely a Giants fan. It was great to see him hit all those. So, two Barry Bonds cards. It's a Barry Bonds pack. Um, you know, we'll set those aside for right now. Um, obviously this year with Aaron Judge, you know, he's been, Aaron Judge getting the AL League homer record. You know, Bonds has been mentioned a lot and it's obviously a big asterisk by his name. Still an impressive feat, but yeah, a little bit of a shame the way he did it. Ozzy Gullion, Scott Pippen. are probably gonna want me to sleeve those other cards so maybe I'll do that in a sec. Another hollow card or something coming up. Gosh these ones are stuck. Derek Gibson, what is this coming up here? Oh another fourth thing. Last box, we just got one. I think there's another card stuck here. What is that? And this is Albert Bell, Forte. So, but we'll sleeve them up. This one, I like this one. It's a 2000. All right, Let's keep going here. See my Cameron in the other box. These ones are definitely a little more stuck together. Luckily, the cards are coming out clean still, but 
you hear about cards being stored sometimes in Randy Johnson. You know, they're completely stuck together, damaging all the cards. I think that happens more with the chrome. Nonetheless, it's good to... These ones I, I just can't shuffle at all. Williams, okay, we're about halfway through, so far already a couple Fortes, there's Pedro, really fun to watch, Dante Bichette, Maguire highlights, make it easier to separate these later, Okay, let's keep going here. So these, I just noticed actually, these are labeled 2 99 per pack. So back in the day, that was... On the upper side, I'd say, um, for 1999. Of course, nowhere near where packs are today. Kevin Brown, oh, and a Griffey. Nice, it's always fun to get a Griffey. Griffey parallel, view to throw, like that. base. Also I'm not sure that I had him in the last one, so Andrew Jones. I had him. Kevin Witt. Scott Brocious. Larry Walker. View to the throw. A little bit better parallels in this box so far. folks, sorry about that. So, toddler came running into the room and uh, tried to get into the cards, so I had to, <laughs> she likes the green one. Her favorite was uh, was this one, um, Barry Bonds, numbered to 2000. Almost got the blue ones too. All right, let's see. Let's keep going here. Sticky cards again. Play a lot of doubles here now. Oh, geez. It's getting worse. I'm just separating these out to make it easier um, later when I'm sorting through. For uh, based on the, the numbered sets. balls are now. It's like someone's got some baseball card to this guy. Donovan Osborne. Okay. John Rocker. Ricky Henderson. Another Pat Bureau rookie. Good old Ricky. Okay. Um... So, so yeah, there's 24 packs per box. So at $3 a pack, that's about $75 worth of packs. 
So this is one that, uh, yeah, if you'd spent $75 back in Maddox, back in 99 and held them, you know, 20 plus years, you've definitely, uh, there's basically, it's about $80 a box now still. So you, there's Hutchinson again. I forget who he played for in the NFL. Was it the Jets or somebody? Um, yeah, I guess he didn't really make it as a football player or back baseball player, but a little better as a football player. And there's Chipper Jones. Um, yeah, so this would be one, you know, they talk about holding, keeping wax as an investment. And you might not have known in 99, but definitely this is one where you would not have wanted to hold it for this long. You've definitely lost on your investment if you had done that. Um, nothing in that pack. Okay, four more packs to go. Yeah, we've already done pretty good on this box, so you know I'm pretty much happy. Anything that we get on top of this is Gravy Quinn. Always like that guy. Some smash a homer before it's 450 foot or something. And Alomar. We missed a card in there. Barry Bonds highlights. Almer when he played for the Indians. Yeah, I watched him play for the Blue Jays. Have a signed card, signed um, ball of his. I also, you know, really liked him growing up, but kind of learned who he was as a person and ended up not being as thrilling of a, a guy. A little bit of a letdown. There's the Ripken highlights. I like getting Ripken cards. That's a base card. Iron Miner. Albert Bell. Touch foot. Okay. Getting closer here. Two packs to go. Let's see if we can get one of those back cards, the jersey cards. That'd be just sweet. Brian Gonzalez. A rod highlight. Ooh, look at that damaged card. Wonder if this was the box or just production quality. All right, last pack mojo. Hopefully, whatever's in here is not damaged too. Oh yeah, see, look at that. I think this is one of these, these, <laughs> it took the brunt of the damage. All right. Thomas. See, I can already tell you, there's basically nothing in this. So this will wrap it up for the, um, for this box. We do have a few more boxes to go, but what we'll do is start through here, see how we're doing on our um, overall set. And uh, I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Actually, well, before I do that, yeah, let's just take a look at what came in the box here. Um, highlights, Barry Bonds, 2000, Apple Bell, Forte. This is the die cut, die cut card. And then Griffey and a Bonds um, parallel base, Vita Thrill. There you have it, folks. Hey, folks, so two boxes into this challenge so far, and um, pulled some nice parallels and uh, numbered cards and been working down the list of the series 2 1999 upper deck set and we're actually down to we're just missing three of the base cards so far so we're going to do one, one more box and see if we can get these last three it's one of the rookies and um and two of the cards and um I'm actually i'm not sure who we're missing so i'll look that up so we can have an eye on it as we go through 
Um, also, you know, working on just the textbooks, textbook numbers, we're missing a few of those. Those are the one in four cards in the pack. And um, also this view to the thrill. Uh, I think there's like almost 30 cards in that too. So those are only one in seven, not expecting to, to fill that out, but we do have a few more boxes. So I'll just keep you guys posted on how we do. All right, let's get into it.